Yo, 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 what's up, people? It's your boy P. Ross back in the building with another watch vlog. And look who I'm rolling with. Hello. Yo. You know what I'm saying? Rocking a fresh polo, of course. You know how we do it, Ross Wristwatch Love. You know what I'm saying? Banging the, the 91 Timex calculator watch. You know what I mean? You know, we going on an adventure right now. You know. Ain't that right, babe? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Where, yeah, right. It's over for that. Crazy. Yo, what's up, people? We're about to get up out of here. Hold on. Yeah. I think they can get in. Yeah, they should be able to get in. We're at the location. We're about to see what we can get. What's up, people? Yeah, it's your boy P. Ross, and we back. You know what I mean? From doing our thing and all. You know, but we still rocking the calculator watch from Timex. This actually was, uh, I believe, released in 1985. But the version I got was made in 91. And in 85, it was finally a water resistant chrono alarm from Timex that they have finally made, which makes this piece really, really special. You know what I mean? I really like it. I really think it's dope. I really think it's fly, fully functional. You know what I mean? We're just sitting here sipping on some coffee. Let me show y'all a couple come-ups that I got in my little hot spot, you understand? We got this Gruen watch, you know what I mean? You know, um, Gruen was actually a company that was based out of Cincinnati, Ohio, where I'm from. You know what I mean? Um, they was in business from around, I want to say, 1908 to about 1958. And, um, you know, they made mechanical watches and automatic watches and stuff. Very, very popular back then. But they were bought by a, a company in New York. And then they started making these coarse pieces, these cheaper coarse pieces. So, um, I picked this one up because I thought the dial was really interesting. You know what I mean? So, it's that. And then, I got this Venice Oris right here. Beautiful piece, 17 jewels. You know what I mean? Hot piece. You know, um, you know, and that, that's really it. You know what I mean? That's all we did today. You know, Wing Wednesday had some wings, you know, filled the belly, you know, drinking up some coffee and shit. <sighs> Black coffee, you know. So, again, you know what? Do y'all want to take a closer look at this? I think y'all do. So, let's get into it. All right, people, here go a close up of the Timex calculator watch. You know what I mean? You know, dope watch. You know, it would really, really, really remind me of the 80s. You know what I'm saying? With, you know, the real live nerd shit that was going on in. You know, and I was part of that nerd shit. You know, so. But, ain't that beautiful? Really don't like the strap. The strap feel like it's gonna break off at some point. You know what I mean? Due to how old the watch is and the plastic is like getting harder and harder. And in some places it may crack. So I'm thinking about actually getting another strap for it. I don't know, but just like the Casio watches, this particular watch here, when I took the band off, um, it was definitely hard or I couldn't squeeze a NATO on there. And I doubt, just like they do for the G-Shocks, they make an adapter for this particular watch. So... I'm gonna take it to uh, where I get my watch straps from and see if they can squeeze one on there. But yeah, that's a hot watch, that's a hot watch. Still fully functional, you know what I mean? You know, yeah, they go the alarm. Back to the time. Yeah, it's a hot watch, you know. So get into it. It's your boy P. Ross. 
Ross wristwatch love. You know what I mean? We in the building. We in the house. So, we out. This is it for this vlog. You know what I mean? I got an uh, actual watch review coming up on my Hamilton khaki. Be on the lookout for that. You know, and that's it. And we out. Peace.